Coast, residents of Tema, Community 25, Pong, Pram Pram, Gulf City, and those who ply the Tema to Aflau Road will tomorrow stage a massive demonstration over the deplorable state of the Ala Road. The aggrieved residents are demanding the immediate return of the contractor working on the road as they say the stall expansion project is not just causing long gridlock but adversely impacting their health. Joining me now on Zoom is the Assembly Member for Mlichakbo, Electoral Area, Isaac Newton Tete. Isaac, and I know we brought you this story about a week ago or a month ago, I think. But tell us, what specific areas or which specific sides of the roads are in question? Well, thank you very much for your time and the opportunity as well. The road we're talking about is the 17-kilometer uh, stretch of road from the um, Tema runabout to Miocho. You know, this road is very important road for this country because it connects people from, let's say, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, mm. Ada, Aflao, Pam Pram, heading towards Accra. And it's very important, especially when you, you, are, you are using this road by the by, by of the day, the traffic on the road is really unbearable. And, you know, BHM um, told one the B to construct the road. They started something uh, last two years, but for some time now, they are not on the, on, on the site. And our call for tomorrow's demonstration is just to ensure that government brings back BHM to continue with the work because the inconveniences residents must go through when going to work or wherever where, where, where they want to go is, is so much unbearable. So our, our plea is just to ensure that uh, BHM is brought on site to continue with the work to make it more trouble for the, the, the residents within that enclave. Right, and I recall that during that time you brought that story to you, our audience, we, there was a young lady talking about her health, her eyes, and she can't breathe well. But you tell me, how exactly does these roads affect your health? Well, you know, when roads are being constructed and then they are not done, uh, it has a lot of, I mean, uh, inconveniences that it creates. You know, though some of them are asthmatic already, so the dusty nature of the road, I mean, compounds the, their, their, their conditions, and then... It, it really affects them. Some, there, are, there are some who are also food vendors. So this same dusty stuff, mm. I, mean, uh, I mean, affects the, 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 the stuff that they sell. And residents or, or on, uh, I mean, suspected residents go buy those things. And then they are, they are also in trouble. So uh, when, when the rules are tart, we believe that the dust will really come down. And then it will make goods or, or, or services there very comfortable, very consumable for the residents. So our, our, our call, again, it's just tomorrow is going to be a peaceful demonstration mm. and uh, we're just going to I mean, draw the attention of leadership that is indeed uh, the road has been neglected for a very long time. You know, this road that we're talking about also connects uh, uh, people from Kufuri are coming to Accra. Sometimes when there's a great lock on the Meshekam road, they have mm. to be tall two through uh, uh, 25 to the uh, Kumbara road. And right. it makes um, I mean, movement very simple, but it has been neglected for all this while. And when it rains, but I mean, it's, it's not easy. It's not right. easy at all. So we need, we need some attention on that very road tomorrow. And that, that's why we are going to demonstrate to ensure that that road is given the needed attention that it deserves. And Isaac, in the letter I saw that you released, you mentioned that all preparations were in place, which means I'm sure you've checked with security personnel and all that. But so tell me, what exactly are your key demands and when is the demonstration? You can tell me when you're start, where you're starting from and where you'll be ending. Well, tomorrow we are converging at the Bombaria enclave. Mm. I mean, uh, because tomorrow we have a national assignment because the BC students are writing and, and just close to where we converge is a centre. So we, we, we are going to notify the police that we would hold on for a little bit when the student goes into their hall and then mm. every, mm. everybody is cleared, then we are good to go. So we, we, are in, we are in constant communication with the police. And they've also given us the assurance that indeed they will come there to ensure that everything is, I mean, uh, uh, organized in, 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 in a world manner. So uh, the road we are talking about is the Pumbaria to Miocho, that enclave. If you, if you use this, that road on a daily basis, you would see what, the, the impact of what I'm trying to say. Mm. The, the traffic on that road alone, if you're going to Accra or you're coming from Accra, it's, it's, it's unbearable. Look at the cost of fuel these days. And, right. uh, Drivers would have to wait in car in traffic for two, three hours before they, they, they move from that enclave. And then it's it, it really not helping. It's, it's affecting productivity. And we, we need to get this thing done and then ensure that, yes, indeed, we are, we are in, in good health. And we understand some people from Pam Pram, Pong, and Ada are also joining the cause. Exactly. All concerned residents. 
actually the the organizers are rather even coming from uh, uh, Dovinia, Dovinia, okay. Pram Pram, and then we those in Kum Katamansu, that Kumbara area, we're going to support this. I mean, move to ensure that yes, indeed, this thing. Uh, I mean, it's given the uh, needed attention because if you use that straight of the road, this should be of a serious concern to you. And uh, I mean, everybody should come on board. Whether you are in government, you are out of government, whether you, you are a pastor, I mean, imam, where, whoever you are, if you really you are concerned with the nature of the route as it is now, you need to come on board. Let's all join hands and then and, and, and tell government that it indeed we also deserve better. You see, what I foresee over this time is that uh, the residents, we are not hungry enough mm. because things are falling apart and it's like we are all not con concerned. Yes, and sharply too, we are divided on political lines. So when you are calling for certain things, people try to read for political minutes into it. But we, we want to tell them that when the rules are done, it's, it's done for all of us to use. Yeah. And it's not for any political party or whoever is in power, whatever, whatever it is. This way, they all pass it to their campaigns. And then we need to get them uh, 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 know that, yes, indeed, our rules deserve better surface that, than, than what we are, we are seeing now. So we are calling on everybody, the taxi drivers, the, the, the food vendors, uh, the businesses on the stretch of the road. You know that some of the uh, companies on that stretch of the road have been earmarked for demolition. Mm -hmm. And some too have been given their compensation, but they are still there. So it, it, it raises serious concerns that, right. yes, have we just using knee-jerk approaches to solving this problem? We need to get the road. I mean, fix, this is about 70 kilometers of road. The yeah. last time we had a stakeholders meeting, we were told it's six lanes out and six lanes in with service lines. So we are expecting, I mean, a modern road, not what we've seen. So we are calling on the government to tell BHM, they are those in charge of the construction. They all already have their offices here. Right. So I don't know what is keeping them from coming. They, they have to visit site and then I mean, start with the work again. And I can tell you something. Let me mm. check this information to you. You see, uh, we have a community called Saki. And this community, the, the road there to, I mean, it's so bad because that road is a trunk road that connects the N1 and then the N2. Right. You understand? So when, 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 we are, when they started with the uh, interagenda at the Kumbaria, we all knew that, okay, they will pay attention to that stretch of the road because when the N1 is took, people want to detour through Saki to the N2 to make it motor. But that one too is very bad. And just last two months, a contractor came to site to do some COVID. I mean, some uh, two, two by 3.5 right. meter COVID. And as I speak to now, he has also vacated the site. He has excavated only the two so lanes. So those, in the those are your demands, right, Isaac? That the contractor should return to the work so that the roads can be completed. Those are your demands that's for exactly tomorrow. That's, all that's, right. That's our demand. That we are all right. For. All the best tomorrow. And I hope that all those listening and are interested all use that road should show out tomorrow and support the cause. Isaac Newton Tete is Assemblyman for Mlichapu Electoral Area. Isaac, thank you so much for bringing this to our attention. Thank you very much. All right. Bye.